I do a lot of customizing of die cast and build dioramas and scale models and things like that. And most of the time I get pretty detailed into stuff. This time I thought I'd try something very simple that anybody could do. I bought two 1939 Chevy sedan deliveries with baby moons on them. And what I decided to do is switch the fenders out on them. I took the black one and put the red fenders on. And I took the red one and put the black fenders on it. I think it looks so much nicer now and it looks more custom than when they were stock and it's such an easy thing to do there's just five screws in the bottom to take the whole thing apart put it back together you have to be careful with the rear door because it likes to fall out so just make sure if you do it with the same vehicle here that you really hang out of that door so it doesn't fall out and get damaged while you do it also on the black one because of the red fenders you can change the rims black if you'd like. I left them red. I like that look. But if you like it black, you can change it. If you look at the red one with the black fenders and the red rims, it actually looks pretty nice together like that. So, and all of these pictures were taken down at Shelter Island in San Diego, California. It was about 70 degrees out in February. Beautiful day, so that's when I decided to do it. But as you can tell, especially with the red and the natural sunlight, it just doesn't quite come out right on the videos and the camera and things like that. So, and when you see it in real, they look really nice with the red and black together. But they just don't look quite as nice in the picture. But I think you can get the idea. When you're going to attempt something like this, make sure that the vehicles that you're going to purchase, that you're going to be able to swap the parts out properly. Make sure that the fenders and things come apart the way that you want to. Like in here, the fenders, the running board, and everything came apart the way I wanted it to. Some vehicles, the front or back fenders don't come off, or some certain part doesn't come apart. So it's going to make it much more difficult. Then you might just have to paint that part or do something. And sometimes it's hard to match it depending on what the color is, especially colors like red or silver, things like that. But if you really watch how they come apart you can usually do this pretty simple and there's quite a few different vehicles out there that you can do this with and it really enhances the look of them check out howtomakeadiorama.com for many more ideas